Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to continue the journey in learning Soundvox and we are going to talk about a, an arpeggio effect which is used to actually create or simulate chords and also to create heavy vibrato effect. Before I continue I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Okay so let's click on the menu up here let's select a new project and let's create a new project with which is empty. Okay, so let's double click here. So we create or go to add a new module and let's select the analog generator and click OK. With that selected, we make the connection into the output like so. Okay, so let's uh, rearrange a little bit the view here and then let's uh, um, unlock the button. Okay, so um, up here, let's actually um, lower the octave here. We go to C2 and we add C2. As you can see, note C octave to module number one. Now let's go to effect here and we type number eight, which is for arpeggio. Now let me show you also what happens. Let's move to um, perhaps... Uh, um, let's click up here let's scroll down let's go to line 16 like so and that's let's insert and off there and let's play the pattern okay nothing spectacular there let's unlock it again and move right at the top now that number there indicate arpeggio and as you can see up here it says effect arpeggio note 2 is the parameter xx and note 3 is the parameter y so let's go to um xx and insert 4 what that means is just four semitones up from c2 okay so let's play now And what happens is that uh, if we look again the pattern and we go to the very top and C2 is played at the beginning of the line, then one third into the line is played this first note. And then two third into the line, we can play another note, like for example, number seven. Let's click play. And of course, you can create an interest effect, interesting effect like so. So for example, let's uh, um, duplicate that note like so. Okay, and let's go up again and let's insert the effect, which is arpeggio again, like so. Let's go up again. And then for simplicity, let's repeat the same pattern for now. So you get um, an, um, an idea. So we put four S, S7 as well for each of these lines. Okay, let's click play. So it's very quick and um, sounds like one of those uh, video games effect. Now, if you go up here on the project, on the menu, sorry, and you click on the project properties, you can change the bit per minute. So let's go very, very low to something like 14 and let's click close and let's play the pattern again. And you can hear it now a little bit better. Now, of course, you can um, have a lot of fun with this one. So let's, for example, uh, say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do something like so. And repeat then, and we go to the top. And why not? Let's play like that. So you get that ascending um, effect, okay? So that is how the arpeggio works. Now, let's go, uh, let's unlock the pattern again, and let's talk a little bit about note duration as well. Let's go to the second one here, and let's click delete here to remove all these notes. And let's listen to what happens now. So 
So effectively, you don't need to repeat the note to actually activate that effect because the note actually is held until you have this off step down here. Okay, so that is uh, an, something to remember in terms of uh, actually duration of the note. The note continues to actually play until you have this uh, off symbol here or, or that off command. Okay, which if you remember, um, you can insert it uh, pressing off up here. Okay, and that is um, how the arpeggio effect works. I hope you enjoyed the short tutorial and as always, see you next time. Bye.